Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Bogi Maranski's Garage and I'm working over here. Today is a rainy October day, car is wet and the air cleaner is removed. And I want to talk a little bit about a air leak and a high idle. As you see, my old parts, old, old, you have cables, spark plugs, but what I realized pretty soon is, when you install new injectors, how you how you be sure that the air not gonna suck through this o-ring? How you sure when you install new this o-ring is good? And uh, how you sure that the air not goes through here, through here, through here, through here into the intake? You put new stuff, but how you gonna be sure that? It's sealed. Let me tell you how. I found a way how to test it. It's a gear oil. I don't need that. And I'm gonna put gear oil right here. Let me turn on this camera also. So I spill gear oil. A little bit. And you will see the wetness of the oil around the injector. little bit more you see okay already tested and I found that one of the injectors suck it it sucks the air it sucks the oil soon as I start the engine the oil disappears so this is the injector number one, cylinder number one, suck, suck the oil. All others are very good, but this one, let me see, let me start the, the car. Let me start it. Oh yeah. gone there is no any oil yeah I need to took the injector off to see if I can fix it
Do you think that's good? No, it's not good. I get new one from my old ones. This this one is good. I install new O-ring on the first injector and now I'm gonna test it again to see if there is a positive change getting the oil Okay, let's get started. Success, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, for those of you who is not sure how to test the vacuum leak, first thing, before to buy anything, if you get a car like this and you suspect air leak and high idle, there is a valve, this valve, it called the uh, idle control valve. This valve, you should do this, unplug, unplug the connector and put 12 volt from the battery, put 12 volt here. When the, when the car run, put 12 volt and the engine should stall. That tells you in the engine, if the engine stall, 
that tells you there is no any air leak. If the engine continue running, you have air leak. Go ahead, buy parts, change it. But this is the first thing, you put 12 volt over here. 12 volt from the battery directly to test. Oh, this is it for now. Have a nice day.